All right, guys. So I'm here with Yolanda, the owner of the route, and Alex. Uh, we're about to show them the car. They're about to see the uh, the, the route completely wrapped for the first time. Shit, dude! What the fuck? That looks like a race car, dude. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the daily vlogs. We're back again. Um, yeah, today we're back in the shop, ready to work. We're gonna go ahead and get started today. We have uh, one appointment, one walk-in, and we also got that uh, board delivery wrap completely finished. Not showing you guys what it looks like just yet. Um, you guys will be seeing that later today. But uh, yeah, right now in the morning, we do have an appointment for a wicker bill install. So we're gonna do an eight wicker bill on a Challenger. Um, this is that Challenger that we did those two custom skulls on the quarter panels. We're also designing some other uh, custom designs on his hood, but that's going to be for another day. But uh, yeah, he's back. He's going to do a ZL1 add-ons wicker build. I'll go ahead and show you guys. If you guys have not seen any of our past videos, we have other videos where we install these wicker bills. Um, they're, uh, they're extensions to the OEM spoiler. They they drill onto the existing spoiler, so it's, a, it, it's an extension. takes it to the next level, your, your OEM spoiler. So you know it's super nice, um, and yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing to that, to that uh, Challenger. But uh, yeah, and then we have the Roush Mustang that is completely done. Right, we have a little, a little, little bit of things we gotta do. So we already went ahead and started this morning. I wasn't recording too much of it, but uh, yeah, we got the license plate installed. To install, we got the front bumper. We have little inlays underneath the front bumper around the headlight area. We already did the windshield banner, badges are already done actually, just did those. And then we installed a number on the hood as part of the wrap. Um, and then we got the steering wheel bezels in carbon red that we that we that we are gonna be installing. We actually sell those on our website, so I'll go ahead and show you guys when we install them in case you guys haven't seen them there. Uh, bezel overlays for your 2015 to 2020 Mustang. Um, they pretty much cover the entire silver of your headlight. I don't know if you guys have seen uh, other bezels, if you guys have an SI50. Um, there's other ones that are made in little carbon pieces, but they don't cover the whole silver part of the steering wheel. The ones we make are already pre-cut to that silver part of the steering wheel. Let me go ahead and show you guys this in this car. So, yeah, you guys see here these silver pieces. They go all the way back, and then they tuck in underneath. So, our overlays actually cover everything. Um, you won't be able to see any silver. Everything's cut pretty much straight to the line. And, uh, yeah, they look really good. They look OEM. And, uh, yeah, so so here here you go. Nice look. Thank you very much. And that's the bottom to me. So here you go. You can see here these are all pre-cut. So everything, the shape on them is pretty perfect on to, uh, as for the fitment for the uh, bezels. And, yeah, they cover everything. They look really good. I'll go ahead and show you guys what these look like. But... Yeah, that's the, one of the last things we got to do that Mustang, but yeah, um, we're going to go ahead and get started with the Challenger. We're going to bring it in here, start getting that wicker bill. I'll show you guys what that looks like. He's going with a stealthy. There's you, Wicker bills are usually two pieces, but we'll go ahead and talk about that once we bring the car inside and show it to you guys. Oop, you guys can't see the car yet. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's go get that Challenger and then get started on the wicker bill. All right, guys, so we got the Challenger in the shop. Uh, check it out. Here is the wicker bill. So this is a one piece that we're going to be installing. Usually it's two pieces. So you have this one larger piece and then you have the smaller piece that pretty much goes in the center and pops up a little higher than this part. The customer didn't want that. He wanted more of a stealthier look. And uh, so he didn't want to add that center part. It is cheaper. So if you do do that, um, it is an option. You could save a little mon bit of money there if you want to do that. And uh, yeah, right now it has the protective layer on it. So it's this white layer. Um, right now we leave it on for the installation just to protect it from any scratches and stuff like that but once it's ready to be installed we'll go ahead and peel it off as you can see here it's the uh, it's just a protection over it so yeah we're gonna go ahead and leave that there just for the install but uh, yeah check it out this is the entire kit you get with it so you get the rib nuts for those of you who don't know what rib nuts are um, this is pretty much what is going to be holding the wicker bill to your spoiler so what you're going to be doing is drilling holes into the spoiler then you're going to be using these rivnuts 
They're similar to rivets, so once you drill the hole in there, you're gonna go ahead and put the rib nut into the hole, and then it's gonna get compressed with a tool we have, and um, it's gonna be, it, it, it's gonna pretty much gonna stay on the spoiler, so it's gonna be attached to the spoiler, now it's not gonna come out. So similar to a rivet where it's gonna grab onto there and it's not gonna let go anymore. And uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna do that for every hole. So we're gonna install 10 rib nuts underneath. So it's gonna be straight onto the spoiler. And then once you got that, you have the hardware they sent you. Really nice hardware. Check it out. So I really like this hardware. So they give you like a little washer here. So that it has nice design to it. And then, um, yeah, it has the nice Torx bit bolt on there. And yeah, everything just sits super flush just like that. Really like what uh, the attention details the other ones puts into their work. But uh, yeah, once you go ahead and have the ribbon that's in there, you're gonna go ahead and just bolt the bolt. You're pretty much gonna screw the bolt into the heart, into the ribbon. So when you have this in your spoiler like this, you're gonna put the wicker bill and you're gonna pretty much gonna sandwich it and the bolt is threaded. Sorry, the ribbon nut is threaded. So it'll be, it'll fit just perfect so there you go you can see that's pretty much how the whole system works um, and yeah this stuff is great really really nice to do and then just 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 a much cleaner install but uh, yeah we're gonna go ahead and get started so for this challenger as you could see it has a cutout here for the reverse camera so the reverse cameras are in the spoiler so that's kind of tricky so that means that if you ever try to remove your spoiler I never even thought about it for a challenger pretty much remove your reverse camera which kind of sucks um, but Alizia one makes makes a product um, in case you don't want to upgrade your spoiler take it off and you want to you know make it look better ZL1 is a perfect perfect solution for that but so first thing we're gonna do is Nessa Nessa is going to turn on the car and then um, she's gonna look in the reverse camera to go ahead and make sure that the wicker bit doesn't get in the way of the camera so we got to place this um, in a way that it's not gonna get it, that it's not going to be blocking the camera just because the camera is just a super wide angle camera and a lot of the times these top edges get in the way if you place it too low and then um, yeah, block some of your view but yeah we're going to go ahead and do that real quick Next, is going to put the car in reverse and then we're going to pretty much put the wicker bill up and see what it looks like you need the keys? Wow. thank you can't trust her with the keys to a car she hits curbs <laughs> Put it in reverse. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and place it. I don't know if you could see in the car in there, but we could see the reverse camera, and we could tell. And there's that huh? There's good. Yep. We just went ahead and put the wicker bill up to the spoiler, and uh, yeah, we got the perfect size. So now we're gonna go ahead and mark the hole so we can go ahead and start drilling and installing the rib nuts. All right, guys. So we already went ahead and pre-marked the holes. We're gonna go ahead and start drilling. We're gonna start with the small hole just to go ahead and get everything lined up. Depending on what size rib nuts you have, you're going to use this in a drill bit, so just make sure you got the one, right one for your, for your hardware. This is a rib nut gun here. Um, so what you're going to go ahead and do, the way I have it set up, I have some washers here just because I don't like the rib nut being uh, just screwing itself in all the way down. I pretty much like to measure and have it set to a certain certain distance so I put washers here in between um, and then that way it tells me how deep to uh, pretty much screw in the rib nut so I use that as a guide make sure that when you use the wash that if you are going to put washers in here they're pretty much the same width as the as the stud you have here so um, that so when you compress the rib nut it won't pull it deeper and inside around the uh, washer so if it's not the same size you're gonna have issues with that so you want to go ahead and make sure you have washers that are the proper size you're gonna do it this way and yeah you pretty much compress it and it's gonna pretty much stay stuck on there pretty much like a rib 
like a rivet so uh, similar thing these just have a thread pitch in them that goes ahead and, and allows you to put a bolt into it uh, so yeah let's go ahead and start installing two of these so that we can get the spoiler uh, all lined up and once we have that done we're going to go ahead and drill the rest of the other eight holes Check it out, we got the wicker bit all installed. Car is ready to go. Manny's finishing up some uh, decals that we're doing in the front. So we were gonna do a school on his hood, but he's gonna go ahead and wait to get that done. Um, but yeah, check out the other school that we did on his quarter panel. You guys saw it in the previous videos. And it's still looking super nice, super clean. And uh, yeah, we're gonna do another one on his hood in the future. So it's, I think it's gonna be the same school, but it's gonna be a little larger. Oh, it's gonna be a different school actually. Okay. All right. So we're waiting for um, for the design and all that stuff to get done, and hey, for him to figure out exactly what he wants. But for now, he came in and he's getting uh, more decals installed in the front. So he's getting this one installed here on the front bumper. And uh, yeah, Manny's knocking this one out. And then yeah, this car's pretty much gonna be out ready to go. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and finish up the Orla Mustang. We actually have an appointment with a. Camaro, yeah, so we have a Camaro. We're gonna be doing some more custom graphics like this one So like this one in the quarter panel, we're gonna be doing some custom stuff on their quarter panel So we're gonna get some measurements of everything they want um, And then you know some process time for the designing and then if they're happy with it, we'll book them But yeah, we'll go ahead and talk about that once that car gets here But yeah, let's get this car out of the shop and uh, finish up this Borla rep Ooh.
guys, so I'm here with Yolanda, the Hi. owner of the Roush, and Alex. Uh, we're about to show them the car. They're about to see the uh, the, the wrap, completely wrapped for the first time. So this is what they wanted us to go ahead and uh, wrap the car like. And uh, yeah, you guys are about to see it for the first time. So let's go ahead and open up the garage and get their reaction. Shit, dude, what the fuck? That looks like a race car, dude. There it is guys, check it out. So this is the miniature figure. There you guys go, you guys can see it there. And that's the real car. What do you think of it? <laughs> real, dude, the real looks mean, dude. I think you went with the satin white. The satin white really yeah. makes it stand out. So you got a satin white and then satin black and then gloss red stripes and silver. It looks too mean, dude. <laughs> Poor race car. Now you guys got the amber delete too. Your steering wheel bezels. Yeah. So you got carbon on interior. Yeah, this scene looks awesome. <laughs> dude, everyone's gonna recognize you guys everywhere. All right, guys. So they're about to drive off with their brand new. The brand new Ralph Mustang. Check this thing out.